The border between the Spanish state and the French state goes right through the middle of the Basque country. So the Spanish government in Madrid say that everyone to the south of that border is Spanish. And the French government in Paris say that everyone to the north of the border is French. Problem is, the people who live in the Basque country don't all agree with this. You see, some of the Basques think that they are neither French nor Spanish, but Basque. When I say uh, the, some, I mean the majority, they always return a nationalist government in the Basque Autonomous Region. But anyway, we could always ask them, couldn't we? Spain came into being in 1492 when Queen Isabel and King Ferdinand tied the knot. The Basques have been around since at least the first century. They're mentioned in the Roman writings of Pliny. So you might think that the Basques have a point when they say to Juani come lately that they're not Spanish. They might also ask that if they were Spanish, how come Franco bombed their women and children, murdered them in broad daylight in the bombings of Guernica? If you don't know who Franco is, think Hitler without the charisma. One of Franco's cabinet members is the honorary president of one of Spain's main democratic parties, by the way. Odd, really, isn't it, that the Basques don't see themselves as Spanish? This weekend there are elections in Spain for various city councils and provinces. The Basque nationalist party, Batasuna, will not be allowed to present their case. They've been made illegal, just as Sinn Féin were illegal in Ireland and the UK. They've been illegalised because they've not explicitly condemned violence, especially the violence of ETA, the Basque separatist group. They haven't had their Sinn Féin moment yet. Usually Batasuna have polled about 15% of the votes in the Basque country. The other Basque nationalist party, the PNV, does much better, but... 15% of the vote is not to be sneezed at. This weekend, perhaps, 15% of the Basques will be without a voice. Is that okay? Is that acceptable? Sooner or later, everyone has to sit down and talk. Many former terrorists have become respected politicians. George Washington, the first president of the USA, was a rebel. He killed Englishmen. Israel's first president and Nobel Peace Prize laureate, Menachem Begin, was a terrorist. And Nelson Mandela, the first democratically elected leader of South Africa, was the leader of the ANC's armed wing and spent 27 years in jail for it. Should the Basque country be independent? I don't know. Let's ask the Basques. All of them. <laughs>